No way, Overwatch 2 came out. Day 2. Day three. Ah. I legitimately didn't even know it'd come out until my roommate said, Hey, did you install the update? The what? Oh, it's just a patch for Overwatch 1. Feels the same so far. Hi. It's the same. The difference between Overwatch 1 and Overwatch 2 is less impactful on how the game is played than some of the regularly scheduled Dota 2 updates. If this is what you call Overwatch 2, then we'd be basically at Dota 29 by now. It all feels the same. Same Anna Reinhardt combo. Same sleep darting ult. Nope! Oops, that was supposed to be candy, not a beach ball. Nope. There we go, that's the right one. I guess he didn't like candy. Sometimes it feels bad, you know, like nope. I'm spoiling this person's fun. He was probably really excited about this ultimate. Same gathering around your helpless victim to impose psychological damage. <laughs> Same superhuman McCree. I think it's Cassidy now. Owning you. I mean, just look at this guy. Just look at guys. Just kill everyone. You can't even see me. How are you hitting these shots? Same me being atrocious at Genji. <laughs> Same me being unstoppable legend at Genji. Same getting killed by random Reinhardt charges. Same farming supports as Genji. Does it get any more Texas than this? Same ineffectual Roadhog ults. Getting countered by Reaper. Still getting countered by Reaper. Countering Genji. Get encountered as Genji. Stay away. No, please, no, no, please, no, 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 no please, please, please. <laughs> Quick aside. This character is a no-skill doo-doo head. I'm an animane, and to kill Moira, I have to be as good as that Mc uh, Cassidy. If you're wondering why the name is changed, it's because they named the character after one of the Blizzard leadership, and reports have come out that he is a workplace sexual harassment kind of a guy. Good... Good reason to change the character's name. Anyway, to kill a Moira as Anna, I have to be a legend. And to kill me, all she has to do is... <laughs> Mama Coco could play Moira. She literally just killed me while she was asleep. This matchup is always gonna make me lose my mind until I become perfect at aiming and incapable of missing precise shots.
I mean, it's called Overwatch 2, but it just feels like a patch, and not even that influential of a patch. Same experience as Zarya pretending to be a tank, but actually being the real DPS overlord. D.Va plays literally moment for moment the same. May still exists. Amazing. Same... Wait. Who is this? This slide move is epic. That's one of the best feeling slide moves I've ever seen. This is amazing. Slide jumping around like a fiend. This gun is pretty stupid though. Wait, it's a rail gun also. This gun is one of the best feeling guns in Overwatch. I love this character. Her design is cool. Her movement is legendary. Well, that was a new experience. Orisa just pressed buttons other than left click. Oof, that spear boob thing is annoying as heck. I've always hated Orisa, I still hate Orisa. That is new. I think. Maybe new. Bastion moves now. But he also does an artillery fiery mode for his ult. Yeah, that's the same. They changed tanks up a bit, because you only get one now. <laughs> this, I actually hugely agree with. I enjoy support, and I enjoy DPS, and I want to die when I'm playing tank. But now tanks are more like bruisers. Only one per team makes it feel more of a thing. They did things like give Reinhardt two of whatever this move is called. And Orissa... Ugh. Doomfist is now a tank, which was honestly devastating. Because he was my jam. Now you don't even kill people with these fully charged rocket punches. <laughs> it's now more like a gentle massage than a killer ultimate death punch. She didn't even care that I just punched her. Refreshing. Cassidy doesn't stun anymore, May doesn't freeze, Shield Bash doesn't bash, and I don't think these are bad changes. Stuns and silences in a first person shooter feel absolutely atrocious. Now Sombra doesn't just hack you into not being a character, she just interrupts your ability with her hack. May just slows, but doesn't freeze. Cassidy just does damage with bombs. These are great things to make the game feel better. Pings is new. I, slept the target. I can holler that I slept someone without actually talking to my teammates. That diva's going pretty deep for that. I slept the target. Which is great, because I do not want to talk to my teammates. Because I fear them and their potential for toxicity. Is any of this even remotely enough to warrant it being called Overwatch 2? Heck no! Especially with all these problems happening. <laughs> but here's the thing. Overwatch has always been one of my favorite multiplayer competitive games. Yes, the approach to Overwatch 2 feels like a money-grubbing cash grab leveraging a popular, popular, a popular franchise. But Overwatch was fun, and it still is fun. These new characters are fun also. Junker Queen throws a knife, shoots a gun, hits people with an 
Axe. Thanks, Fax. It is admittedly entertaining chasing DPS away by landing kunai hits. But in the end, you can't replace my main girl, Anna. Sojourny Weaver, though, is cool as heck. It may be Overwatch 1.1, but it's still a whole heckin' load of fun. I even have a couple Overwatch hats and a hoodie. I love me some Overwatch. Overwatch being back in my mindset is something I enjoy. That would have been the end of this video, but the very next day I log in and now I'm locked out of most of the roster. I guess this was a glitch, reverting everyone to the free-to-play category or something like that? Wow, this has been a dookie launch of a game. And this isn't even a game launch, it's just a patch to an existing game. I love me some Overwatch, but this has been rough trying to keep a positive attitude. Either way, I'll probably keep playing it, because I really do love Overwatch. Yep. See ya. Ha ha ha!